Hello friends, today I have a very special repair because it is the first time ever I have to do this repair and then I have here a Nikkor 15mm 1.8 and the construction is the same as the 1.8D so this video applies to that one lens too and then I have this lens and that has fungus and then just let me get it close and, and then yeah, you see it there, the fungus Oh, so I say it is special because it is the first time ever I see fungus in this lens. I have seen many things. I have seen dust. I have seen haze, but fungus is the first time. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open the lens, and then uh, we're going to uh, fix that. And uh, this is going to be uh, rather quickly. So first thing, I take my rubber cones. Um, if you need some, uh, I will leave uh, the link in the video description. So here I come and I discrew this element here that you see I'm removing just now. Okay. okay. So here it is. I remove the first element. So it's this plastic ring. Uh, so just let me put the zoom a bit back, uh, so we get a bigger picture. Now uh, we have this, and then there's three screws here. I will take my uh, J uh, double zero screwdriver. And just open the box. So here. And then I'm going to get these screws loose. And uh, same thing for the screwdrivers. If you're interested in them, uh, and then in lens repair, uh, please take note that uh, most lenses, uh, at least Japanese ones, use uh, J screwdrivers, J screws, and then uh, you need J screwdrivers, and then it is a set like this one I have here very good ones uh, I leave also the link uh, in the video description for that so okay we remove the three screws and then here I get uh, the problematic element the rest of the lens is in quite good condition so uh, I'm not going to bother with that uh, so here uh, the fungus is behind the first element here uh, that we cannot remove from the front so we need to uh, tackle it from the back so here uh, we return it and then you will find uh, this element here and uh, everything is in plastic but this element here which is metal and then uh, there is some glue here and then and uh, thin uh, to uh, get this uh, element loose is just to add uh, some isopropyl alcohol uh, I have some in this bottle this is isopropyl alcohol then I take a few drops and then I put them here and then I let it work uh, for a few minutes and then uh, just after that the thing uh, yeah become becomes loose enough so enough so you can uh, remove this element here as I'm doing just now so here this is the first thing uh, we're going to remove this element here is okay so we're going to put it aside uh, here and then we have a second element and then for this I need an element Sorry, I had to go for a few seconds because uh, I didn't have this tool ready and then this is just uh, a small uh, suction cup here and then uh, it's to remove this element here so um, then okay it came out so here uh, we have this element here which is actually in good condition so no problem here we're going to put this element aside and then here I have to pay 
attention and how I'm going to lay it. So let me put it in one support. Oh. just after so and then here uh, we reach uh, the back of this element uh, which is bothering us I can see the fungus now just try to uh, get this close and then I will take a look at the fungus from the back okay so I just see it there mm, well, it's not very obvious Is there play a bit with the lights? Okay, ah, the fungus is there, it's not very obvious to see because it's a bit recessed, but then it's there. So we're going to um, okay, yes, it is there. So I will go to pick my clean stuff and then we meet in a few seconds. So, hello, I am back. I got my clean stuff ready. So, um, since the fungus infestation is rather mild, so I'm going to use only uh, this optical cleaning fluid. I have a special recipe. I made a video about it. I leave the video uh, the link in the description and then here in the corner you will see that and then that's uh, a video about the recipe I use for um, removing fungus so here and uh, the fungus is rather mild so I'm not going to bother with that and then uh, what I'm going to do is just to use optical cleaning paper and this you can find easily on the internet and then uh, what I do just to save paper is I cut it in small pieces like this and then I have uh, this, this is a uh, lens pen, this was originally to clean lenses, but then uh, I use it too, um, because of this rubber thing, I can push the paper inside uh, with ease. So, um, thing is very simple to use, so you simply put a bit around your lens, as I'm doing now then you have to be quick because this thing dries out uh, rather fast so then you put this and then you just move the paper around for the cleaning So initially you will feel some resistance but then after a while it just slides really nice and then the result is quite straightforward so you get the lens which is clean and then um, I don't see uh, any more fungus which is a good thing uh, so uh, what I'm going to do now is just to finish the clean of the uh, other elements that I actually um, dirted a bit while removing them uh, but then as you saw uh, the cleaning is rather straightforward so uh, I will going to do that off the camera and then we meet in uh, a few seconds just to reassemble the lens so see you So hello friends, I am back, I am ready for the reassembly of the lens, as you might notice I already put um, this element here that I removed, I used my cup and then uh, I put it before because I need to clean it after once it is mounted, um, but then uh, the cleaning is just a standard procedure. So um, we need to pay attention to those, so I have a blower here. And then uh, what I'm going to do now is just to put this element here that I also clean it. So and then uh, yeah, pay attention to dust. So what I do is I blow at the same time that I assemble. So this way I'm sure 
and that I don't have particles falling into the lens. So and then uh, I just need to screw this so and then my element looks actually very nice so and then the fungus is gone and this is what we wanted initially now I just need to reassemble the lens so this is also uh, rather simple so I take the body here and then uh, there is two small openings here you see you have these ribs here and then here two which are incomplete and then the same thing on this side and then uh, I just need to make sure that they match uh, with these two slots that they are here and then normally if I manage that and uh, the holes for the screws are aligned as we're seeing here and then uh, the other thing uh, is that this body here does not wiggle and uh, well, it does wiggle a, li a bit but uh, it's not able to move uh, freely so and then um, I just need to put the screws back so here I just pay attention not to let the screw fall into uh, the lens that would be a pity just scratching the lens just because of that then I just tighten a bit not very much not really necessary either Then the last screw then we put the front plate here that I take my rubber cones And then here you go we're done with the repair and um, so conclusion of this is if you have this lens which is a really nice lens um, and you get fungus into it do not panic and uh, as you saw the repair is extremely simple so this is all I wanted to show you today thanks for watching and see you next time eh?